Um, first thing first, I'd like to thank the man upstairs. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Um, second of all, uh, I'd like to thank my teammates, the coaches, um, everyone um, you know who got me where I'm at today. Obviously, um, other great players like Antonio Brown, Ben, um, you know, Cam Hayward, those are the guys. Uh, a lot of us, you know, look up to, I even look up to. Um, they even deserve this award and a lot of other teammates too. So um, it's awesome, man. I've never seen that I will be where I'm at today, uh, year two, but it's great that um, they're at where I'm at today and you know, I got to keep striving. So thanks to my teammates. Open up for questions. Does this mean maybe more than the Pro Bowl? Because your teammates not getting the Pro Bowl because your teammates are voting for this. Yeah, I think it means more, a lot more, just because um, you know, as you know, the teammates and people in your locker room um, that they voted for me, it means a lot. You know, it means that they have my back, and um, it's awesome to see that. Jay, what was something you wanted to work on coming into this season that you feel you have gotten better? Um, obviously, just building that, building that connection with Ben. Um, being able to be on the same page, um, you know, how him and Antonio is and, you know, being able to, to have that chemistry on the field. Junior, some of your teammates today were talking about how you've earned the respect of the locker room. And that's why, you know, you're earning the vote, too. What's it like to get the respect of the locker room that has so many veteran guys down there, too? Uh, it means a lot, man. You talk about guys who's been in the league for 10 years plus. Um, for them to have my back and, you know, to have their respect. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I'm only 22 years old, and this is only my second year in the league. So um, to get that from them uh, shows a lot. And, you know, um, I'm proud, you know, that they, that they voted for me and um, would do anything for those guys. How did you go about earning that respect behind the scenes? Uh, more so just coming to my rookie year and just, like, pretty much time I, you know, didn't say much, you know, just play the ball, uh, help, help the team as much as possible. And, you know, obviously just – you know, vibing with the offensive players, defensive players, the special teams. And I, I think, you know, just being myself, honestly, I, I feel like I didn't really do much go out of this way just to, to get this award. It was just more so, you know, just being myself and, you know, playing football. What's A.B. meant to your development? Uh, he means a lot, man, too. Honestly, without him, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today just because, you know, he's seen a lot of the double teams, a lot of the, um, you know, a lot, a lot of the, the best corners are always on AB, and I'm able to, you know, make certain plays. And I mean, a lot of guys are too. Um, so I mean, it opens up the door a lot. But I think that um, he's helped me to where I'm at today. What's it mean to be doing what you're doing with him? Because he's putting up big numbers too. Guys. Yeah, he's been doing this for a while, man. He took nine years in the league and putting up big numbers, you know, every year. Uh, to have the opportunity to be, you know, part of the Southern franchise, you know, history to be next to AB. And, you know, to have the same numbers that we have. The word beast was also used to describe you a couple of times today. You know word for defensive guys. What's it like for a guy like you to refer to as beast? That's cool, man. Uh, I play a little defense, so they know how I get down, um, you know, back in, the, in high school. So I have that mentality, too. But I think on the opposite side, I mean, it's cool that I can be referred beast, you know, from the defensive side. But I can probably use it on the offensive side, too. Juju, with, with the season Ben had in AB, had, were you surprised when you heard the news today? Um, yeah, man. It was, uh, I mean, I, I didn't think that, you know, it was going to be me. Um, you would think, you know, the numbers that they put up, you would think that it, it's always, you know, one of those guys. And it's, you know, I was, I was surprised. Are you surprised at your numbers, too? Huh? Are you surprised at your numbers, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, I think it's crazy, you know, we have, you know, two wide outs who are, you know, over a thousand yards, hundred catches. And it is, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool that, you know, I was just a kid, you know, watching these two guys, you know, go at it every week and put numbers up and to be part of them and to do what they're doing, uh, it's pretty cool. Who'd you cast your vote for if you're willing to share? Uh, my vote, man, um, I put Joe Hayden. Um, I wanted to pick a defensive, defensive player. Um, just because I knew that like, everyone was probably going to pick up, like, you know, uh, 7 and 84. And, you know, I went Joe Hayden just because, you know, you talk about a guy, he comes into work every day, you know, he puts his body on the line. And obviously he's made some clutch plays for us. And for him, uh, that's what I put my vote for.
Because you were compelled you to, to put out that tweet following the Saints game that you felt you needed to do that. Man, because I'm, I'm not the type of person to, to go and hide. You know, obviously, hide on social media. Uh, you know, I, what I put out was I took, you know, full responsibility, you know, of, of you know, protecting the ball. You know, that's something that we work on every day, day in, day, in, day out. And it just so happened it got the best of me. And, you know, after that play, I mean, obviously I felt terrible. But, um, you know, you live and learn, and, you know, you make everybody makes mistakes, and you just got to keep moving on. You're also, in addition to the team of the Pino, one of the more prominent players of the, of the draft class that's been productive for this team so far. What does that mean to you, you know, in that context? Uh, I mean, it means a lot, man. I mean, the more I can do, the more I can help out, you know, this team. Um, you know, to have James Conner and those other guys too in that class. I mean, we're just trying to make the best of it. And we're just trying to, uh, to get this team, you know, to win the next Super Bowl. Is that something you, you know, discuss amongst yourselves and not explicit attempts? Uh, for more, more so, I would say it's just more, more so like me and James Conner, just because our lockers are right next to each other. Um, obviously, we talk about it day in, day out, but not only just with him, but, you know, a lot of other players too. Um, I mean, just, that's our main goal. Well, man, first off, he's just a great teammate. You know, it's a guy who's very selfless, always puts people first. And, um, you know, he's playing the field. He's very reliable. You know, he's just a guy we can, we can count on. There's a lot of guys on our team that we can count on. Um, you know, it's just uh, it was his year. You know, he's been uh, improving every year that he's been here so far. And um, you know, he, he deserves it. You see what he does in the passing game as a running back. How much does he help in the run game? Oh man, he's a beast. I mean, we're always showing this this tapes of him you know, knocking out defenders and you know really not scared to get down in there. So uh, man, he's just uh, all around great guy and teammate and, and player. At one point this season, he was referred to and compared to Heinz Ward by Coach Tomlin. Yeah. I mean, that's quite the comparison. Is that the kind of player he is? Yeah, for sure. You know, a Hall of Fame guy uh, like Heinz Ward. Um, definitely, Juju definitely you know, imitates his game as far as you know being physical. Um, you know, just knowing where the sticks are, just being reliable out there on the field. So I can definitely see similarities in that. I think he's just been a guy that's been really consistent. We talk about uh, in the NFL, a lot of guys can go and have one good player, one good game, but to be able to do it uh, over the course of a season, over the course of his short career, uh, is really awesome to see. And uh, he just has the respect of all the guys in this locker room through the way that he works and the way that he approaches practice. And uh, it, it obviously carries over to games. You tweeted out Beast. You know, is that kind of a way to describe him? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a beast, he's a gamer, and, and it all starts in practice. And I, I see the way that he works, the way that he approaches uh, the game. He loves the game, he has fun with it, and that's everything that you want in your team MVP. You see a guy like Juju step up, you know, started to merge, really merge last year, then this year just blew it up. Yeah. I would like to see a young guy like that become a team MVP. I mean, it just shows how hard he's worked. He worked hard in the off season. He knew it was going to be a lot of eyes on him this year, and he raised, you know, he showed up to the occasion. Uh, he works hard. I knew from day one this kid was going to be special, and we're just at the beginning, so the sky's the limit. What did you know about him that made you think that? Like, what was it that made you think it'd be special? Well, he, care, he cares. He cares about his craft. He wants to be the best. He wants to learn. He can humble himself to learn from anybody. He can learn from a coach. He can learn from a younger guy. He just wants to get better. So if you got knowledge, he's willing to take it in. And I think that's the rule well, number number one to being a pro, being able to be coachable. What was your guy, the reaction from you guys when you saw his tweet, when you saw him take that responsibility? Well, I mean, it, just shows you, it just shows you what type of pro he is. He cares about this team and what we do. He wants to win. Um, I told him, hey, don't worry about it. You're a great player. You know, you're know, you going to have ups and downs in your career. So, um, you know, it was good to just see him just, you know, man up to it, and he moved on. He's getting a lot more opportunity, you know, uh, and anybody. He's just he's stepping up when, when, when his number's being called. He's making big plays. Uh, I always look at the, the Denver game, the 97-yard touchdown. I mean, he went out there and made a big play, and that's what big-time players need to do. Is that something, you know, first year, second year, is that kind of when you see a, you just see a big stride? From you always want to see a big jump yeah. from – first and second, and then the big jumps to third. I think he's already taken that third year jump. But he's just going to tell you to get better, you know. Uh, I don't like to, to put a lot of pressure on him, but, you know, I see a lot of Anquan Bowden to him. I see a lot of Larry Fitzgerald to him, and I know those two guys play together. But um, two guys who are vets who know how to play football, he knows how to play some football.